Hello, my gems. This reading is for you. This is your November love reading. See what's coming in to you for Geminis for the month of November and love. If you're not subscribed, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And make sure to view your sun, moon, and rising for more messages that may resonate. Okay. We have affirmation for healing. The heart. Okay. Gemini, are you healing right now? Ah, okay. And we also have healing waters. Okay, Gemini. So it seems like you've kind of been through something that you are definitely healing from. And at the bottom of the deck, you also have transformation and change. So in this lunar eclipse season, um, I, I believe all the signs are going through a great change right now. But I believe you are focused on healing at the moment, Gemini. I believe you are focusing your energy. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you hear any, hear any rustling down below me. I have two baby kittens playing at my feet, so... <laughs> That's not me wrestling. That's them. Okay, Gemini. Back to it. Okay. So you have the time machine. That is will of fortune energy. And you also have tender embrace. So this, as you go through your time of healing, and at the bottom you have a burst of magic. Okay. So at... After you go through your time of healing and um, diving deep within yourself, Gemini, I feel like a big change is coming. Uh, something's going to change your life. This tender embrace, this may be love coming into your life, or this may be someone who is obviously there to be supportive. Let's get some more energy from this. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So, wow, okay. And death. I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. Okay, so yeah, we definitely have some, some big changes and transformations going on right now. Um... And at the bottom of the deck, you have surrender. I can release my need to control things. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, what is going on with you, Gemini? I feel like you are, you're really, I can kind of feel that you're diving deep. Maybe it is that you're not even really focused on love at the moment. Maybe you're focused on yourself. Okay, first card out, the sun. So, yeah, you're looking for happiness. And you also have the five of swords. Okay. So many cards want to come out right now. You have the king of pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. I kind of felt that was going to come out. You have the Ace of Swords. The Hangman.
the cards want to fumble now. The Empress. And you have the Ace of Cups. All right. At the bottom of the deck, you have the world. So, yeah, you are definitely ending a cycle. You are definitely starting something new, Gemini. This is a new adventure for you, I believe. This is something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness um, after conflict. So... And now here in the second row, you have the King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, okay. So the King of Pentacles, he's very practical and wise. This may be someone who's coming into your life. It may be an earth sign. But someone who's going to bring you stability, uh, the King of Pentacles, he's very stable, very practical, very uh, wise. He's kind of built on tradition. And to be totally honest, he's like, he could be the most boring of the kings because he's just, he's straightforward and, and practical, but he is wealthy. He does carry a lot of wealth. And knowledge um, and I feel like the will of fortune this may be turning you towards him this may be someone who's coming into your life who's gonna bring a lot of great change who's gonna spark new energy I feel like um, with the the ace of swords I feel like you are coming into some new great beginning uh, for your ideas and for your life. I feel like this is some new ideas and new clarity that maybe have come after conflict, after some kind of, of thing in your life that has kind of made you defensive. Does that make sense? And I feel like you are kind of surrendering to this new knowledge. I feel like you're kind of falling in deep. Does that make sense? I feel like you are kind of letting everything go and just going with the flow of it. That's what I'm intuitively feeling for you. Um, I feel like with this Ace of Swords and this King of Pentacles, you're gaining a different perspective. You're gaining a different perspective on maybe the, the entire way that you thought. Maybe you are diving so deep that you are changing so much. You're almost turning into a new person. These babies are really messing with my camera. Okay, we're still good. Yeah, I feel like this is... This is Creating such new energy, Gemini, I feel like you are, and Gemini is actually, um, if you look at their sign, there's duality. Uh, the Geminis, they always look at them as having a good twin and a bad twin. I don't believe that. I'm a Gemini as well, so I don't believe that. I believe that we have two different sides, but I believe that... We are so adaptable in life in general that once our perspective is changed, it kind of changes us in entirety. Does that, does that make sense? I feel like th this change that you're going through, it's pushed you into this new beginning. It may be even pushing you into a new love interest. This may be this King of Pentacles who is coming through. Um, but I, I do see that you are starting something new. This is something that's very passionate for you. This is something that is going to bring you a lot of joy and contentment. 
And I do feel like you are becoming this empress energy, which she's beautiful. She's attractive. She is vibrant and creative. She's very abundant. She's able to manifest whatever it is that she wants in her life. She has that ability. She's also very fertile and a good mother. So I feel like whatever you're attracting, Gemini, is going to be very fulfilling and very beautiful in your life at this moment. So I love that energy for you. Okay, let's clarify these cards a bit. The, this is such a beautiful reading. I'm not sure if I need to clarify, but see, we'll see. Okay, with the sun, we have the temperance card. So I believe this happiness is going to bring great balance and satisfaction to your life. With the five of swords, we have the knight of cups. So I feel like after a conflict, someone is coming into your life to offer you an apology. This could be an offer of love, but I'm, I'm more feeling like this is an apology. I'm feeling like this is someone coming to you to apologize for a situation. With the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Moon. Excuse me, with the King of Pentacles. With the King of Pentacles, we have the Moon. And with the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Strength card. So I feel like during this time, I, I feel like secrets are being revealed to you. Something is being revealed to you that's going to lead you off of your path a little. That's what I'm feeling. I don't feel like it's huge problems. Um, I feel like during this time, you should follow your intuition. Go with your gut feeling on it. But I do see that you have strength. You have um, self-respect. You have courage to go through anything that you're going through. You have the ability to adapt. That's what I'm feeling. With this Ace of Swords, you have the Ten of Cups. Wow. So these new ideas, this fresh new beginning, is going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's, it, it, it may lead to your forever person. With this hangman, you have the five of wands. Okay. So, I think these are challenges that you'll be going through because of the situation. Someone is going to be challenging your happiness because they don't want you to be happy. This could be an ex coming in. Uh, to challenge your happiness, um, to challenge your new start. But I'm feeling whatever it is, is something that you're going to overcome. With the Empress, we have the Chariot. So I feel like you're, you are moving on. Um, you are changing. This may even lead to you moving to a new location. I'm feeling like it's a really big possibility that you're moving to a new location. Okay, and lastly, with the Ace of Cups, we have the Judgment card. Okay, so yeah, this is renewal. This is this is you making your final decision. I feel like this Ace of Cups, this is something that you've been waiting for maybe your whole life. This is something that's coming in and it's, it's giving you a full release. You are totally surrendering to this situation. I feel like you are, you're releasing everything you have within you 
for this Ace of Cups. You are totally renewed. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful, Gemini. This is beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So yeah, this is definitely someone coming in. This is someone coming in um, who is going to totally change your life. Okay. Let's get a few cards to clarify. Okay, let's see. We have... Take time to breathe out the decimating moon. Take time to breathe out. We also have confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. And we have full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. So, yeah, I, I think, especially with these two, your dreams need practical, a practical plan, and it's time to take action. So, whatever you are doing, Gemini, I, I think you're well on the right path. I think that it's going to turn out to be something beautiful for you in the month of November. I think that there's going to be a lot of fulfillment and a lot of soul searching. I feel like there are going to be huge changes. I'm, when, when I'm feeling your energy, Gemini, I'm feeling like um, people may look at you and they don't recognize you. Maybe you're changing yourself at this moment. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling that very strongly for you. Okay, Gemini. This is your reading. If this has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And have a wonderful Scorpio season, Gemini. I think this is going to be a beautiful one. Many blessings to you. Love and light.